Millions of Americans suffer from acid reflux and take antacids to deal with the pain, and that would include me. But I never knew I could be covering up a very serious problem, which can develop into a silent killer if gone untreated. So tonight we look at one man's simple case of heartburn and the devastating diagnosis that now has him fighting for his life. I can remember, you know, having pizza and then paying for it the next day. 52-year-old George Mickle has had acid reflux since he was a teenager. And as it increased in pain and frequency, his doctor prescribed a proton pump inhibitor, or PPI, which reduces acid production in the stomach. Every year I went to him, you know, I said, oh, and by the way, I need a script for Nexium, and just wrote it out and never said, go to a GI, maybe you should see them. Never knew about Barrett's esophagus or, or syndrome or GERD or anything. No one ever discussed that. George assumed, like I did, by taking those PPI pills daily for years, he was protecting his insides from any damage. But we were wrong. It doesn't take care of the problem. It just masks some of the symptoms. Dr. Alice Rosemergie, the director of the Surgical Digestive Disorders and GERD Center at Florida Hospital Tampa, says PPIs are not meant to be used long term for numerous reasons. It doesn't completely suppress acid production. When it does, it still doesn't stop reflux. Over the last six months, George had trouble swallowing and finally went for an endoscopy. There's this mass in my esophagus, and uh, he took a biopsy, and he said it didn't look right. But so four days later, it came back with, as cancer. That diagnosis shocked him. The hardest thing is, is telling someone or saying, I have cancer. Did you have any idea that acid reflux can lead to esophageal cancer? Oh, not at all. Not at all. Esophageal cancer used to be quite rare, but according to Dr. Rosemergy, it's now an epidemic. The rate of increase is astounding, and it's increased such from going to nothing to being the most common reason people have their esophagus taken out. You want so badly, so badly to take it away, so badly to take it away, and you can't. George's wife, Maeve, has been by his side for 28 years. She, too, had no idea of any serious risks with acid reflux. It's not okay just to take a pill, you know, to make, to make the symptom or the pain go away. There's something else there, and you need to kind of fight for it. George just finished seven weeks of chemotherapy and 28 days of radiation. He goes back for more testing July 1st. If the tumor shrunk, Doctors will remove his entire esophagus. So they want to warn others now, don't ignore your acid reflux. There's no reason to live your life in pain and possible have cancer if it can be fixed. I have suffered from acid reflux for most of my life and just recently had an endoscopy. So tomorrow night, I will share with you my test results and the surgery now available before it develops into cancer. I hope you'll join me Tuesday at 5.